you had three there that carried 300. We've got the Ping G425 Max, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, and the Callaway Epic Speed, three new drivers that are all the rage here in 2021. We're gonna test them out and see the differences. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing. We've got three new drivers for 2021 to test out against one another from three different manufacturers. The Ping G425 Max, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max, and the Callaway Epic Speed. Uh, of course, gaining a bunch of popularity as they always do when newly released um, with new drivers out there. Thomas, we've done some initial testing on these, but I mean, I'm excited to see them all head to head here. Yeah, it is the exciting time of the year. We get the chance to test all the new product and now it's time to test them head to head. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of initial testing of just the product alone, but now we get to see which driver head is maybe faster, which one's maybe more forgiving, because forgiveness is a very, very important that thing we're gonna bring up in 2021. Yeah, especially with these models in particular, of the kind of different heads that each manufacturer has released, we've got kind of your uh, forgiving models that are gonna fit the most players. And so we're gonna test all of them against one another, get some shots with TrackMan, Thomas is gonna give his feedback, and we're going to tell golfers which one is maybe lowest spinning, which one is maybe most forgiving, as you said, maybe the fastest, and uh, hopefully leads you to the right decision of picking a new driver here in 2021. Yeah, we've got three driver heads, four nine degree heads. We're gonna test with the exact same golf shaft. We're gonna hit a, bunch, hit a bunch of shots, and we're gonna see which one works the best. Okay, so Thomas, you mentioned we were gonna be using the same shaft. Um, you got that in your hands now. Um, what you know is the spec and what model of shaft is that? Yeah, so the nice thing at second swing when we do fittings, we have our all fit adapter system. So we can test different driver heads with the exact same golf shaft. So with this setup, it is a 45 inch driver shaft. So it is a little bit shorter than what I typically play as I search for a little bit more club speed. Mm -hmm. I do play a little longer golf shaft, but this should help to tighten the dispersion pattern a little bit. So club speed maybe not quite as fast as we see when I'm kind of maxing out as mm -hmm. I'm doing the training. It might still be a little bit faster, um, but that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. Okay. So the Graphite Design XC6X so that's the golf shaft that I played in my driver in 2020. Okay, so. okay. So you're used to the, you know, how the driver shaft feels, uh, just a little bit shorter. So, um, all right, let's, uh, you know, I think we're gonna hit what, three shots with each club or maybe come back around? How, how's that format gonna work? Yeah, so we're gonna hit six total golf shots with each one. We'll hit three okay. shots initially. We'll do two rounds of three shots. That way this test is gonna be as un unbiased as possible. And then we'll take a look at the numbers and see if we can diagnose one driver being faster or one driver being more forgiving. Perfect, well, I'm, I'm ready to watch hit some bombs. Let's start with G425 Max here. Sounds good. Thomas, 18 shots with the drivers. Now, we did kind of maybe make an audible uh, on sort of the process, right? As we kind of noticed maybe a little bit slower club speed just to start with G425 Max and thought, well, to kind of, you know, as you're warming up along the way, maybe to instead go, instead of going ping Taylor May Callaway, ping Taylor May Callaway, made those last three kind of flip flopped them so we could give ping that last, those last swings there for you. So, but uh, very interesting test. We got some interesting trends maybe emerging here. Yeah, I really wanted to try and get my club speed to be about the same with yeah. all of them. So you'd notice, if you look at the left column there, you can see they were all 112 point something. So yeah. pretty similar comparison with regards to club speed. Um, so now we can talk about ball speed and, and efficiency mm -hmm. with, those, with those models there too. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, Epic speed was hot. Mm -hmm. it, it was hot, that, that ball speed was, was, was pretty high. Now, yes, the club speed was slightly higher than the other ones, but I do like when I look at the right side there on that carry distance and I see all those purple circles that are carrying kind of the furthest. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that stood out to me right away. Yeah, yep. You had uh, some, you know, shots with the epic speed. You had this one went 305 yards in the air. Um, and then you had, a, I think you had your first, what, four or five of them that you hit with the Callaway were all 300 carry. Uh, I think so there was only one that was under 300 and it was like 299 yep. point something. Yeah, so you, I mean, yeah. you see the carry distance here with the epic speed, I think. In terms of raw carry distance, um, you know, I think that was kind of the winner for sure out of these three in terms of carry distance. But um, we can look to one thing, I think the trend here would be 
we did notice higher spin with Sim 2 Max. Um, I think notably higher than Epic Speed and G425 Max. And we do want to reiterate again that spin is not always bad. Um, I think, you know, in terms of chasing distance, we always kind of hear and, and see people wanting to lower spin, lower spin. Uh, but if you are somebody that does have it, I mean, you can spin the ball naturally low or hit maybe a, your trend is maybe a duck hook or something like that. That's your common miss. A Sim 2 Max in this instance, as that kind of that high maybe fade ball flight is going to be the right one for you with some extra spin on it. Yeah, I mean, in TaylorMade's defense, I did leave the face a little bit more open. If you take a look at the dispersion pattern, that yellow circle was all kind of over mm -hmm. on, the, on the right side there. But, you know, notice the spin rate was, say, 600 RPMs more, 500 RPMs more than the epic speed was. But I want you to click on a couple of those, those uh, epic speed circles over there on the right mm -hmm. side. So you bring those up. Notice how the spin rate kind of stayed pretty, pretty low down on mm -hmm. those ones out to the right there. You can see, even though from the furthest to the right right there, if you take a look at that, it's, the spin rate stayed down. Mm -hmm. So one thing that stood out to me there was the epic speed was spinning less, even on those ones that I missed to the right. Right, yep, yep. And you can see with you know, a couple of the other ones too, but ping there is you know, 2,600, and then these ones are kind of, uh, these ones from TaylorMade, you get up there too in like 3,000, 3, 3, 3, so. Yeah. So that's, a, that's certainly a trend to take note of as well as um, we talk about, you know, if you are someone that wants to maintain low spin and well, for one thing, spin consistency, especially as important with uh, anyone, that is, you know, you want wherever you, if you miss it left, miss it right, you want that spin to be the same so you can ex know what to expect is going to happen. Yeah. Well, with a driver, there's two things you want to pay attention to, distance and dispersion. So it'll be kind of interesting. We'd like to take a look at the distance comparison with, the, with each model. So if we look here, we can see that the furthest driver was the Epic Speed 325 total. Um, the G425 Max is 319, and the Sim 2 Max was 312. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're all very, very good numbers. The spin was definitely influencing the distance differences between the models there too. Yeah. Uh, and also the height, it was kind of influencing the height a little bit with them as well. But it's also important to pay attention to dispersion. So we noticed, for example, with the Callaway Epic Speed, we got three left and we got three right. They didn't really have any that were, were straight, per se. Mm -hmm. But then you look at, for example, Ping. Ping, you will notice more of a consistency a little bit to the left side, where you notice Taylor made was a little more consist mm -hmm. consistent to the right side there, too. Yeah, that is interesting. You have kind of maybe, I don't want to say a bias, uh, but you know, the, the trend with Taylor made was sort of a little bit higher, a little bit more spin, and kind of a little bit more to the right, I think, based on the circle and based on the numbers here. And then Ping, you had a couple, kind of that, uh, you know, leaning left overall. The circle is kind of more left than the rest, right? Um, and then, I mean, there's a couple on the right half, but the, the trend was more left, and then you do have it split in the middle with Epic there. So, interesting trend there. Um, and now, this is, again, not a humongous sample size, but it's something to take note of, especially with someone that swings as consistently as you do. Um, that you know maybe squaring up that face with ping just was maybe a little bit easier than the other two here. Yeah, and I think this just helps to figure out you know maybe a little bit of those spin differences. They're all going to be very very forgiving drivers. We mm -hmm. talk about forgiveness. Well, ping G425 Max push that 10,000 MOI limit. You can probably see how it was maybe just flying a little bit straighter on mm -hmm. those misses. Mm -hmm. well, maybe training just a little bit more to the left side. They're all very very forgiving, um, but it's just kind of interesting that. My miss hits maybe went a little straighter with the G425 yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, one thing, just as kind of a side note here, uh, for players that want to hit the ball a little farther, here's a number to look at, attack angle. <laughs> Thomas hits it up on it at six degrees, that's how you hit the ball far. Well, that's uh, also interesting too, the fact that the attack angle was the same with each model. So this same mm -hmm. loft on the driver, nine degrees, same yeah. attack angle. The so, dynamic loft is almost the same here too. Yeah, so, so very, I mean, very similar differences between, between them all. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. There's definitely differences in spin, though. Mm -hmm. uh, that definitely stood out to me there as, there as well. So it's kind of interesting, you're comparing those, those three models here. Mm -hmm. You know, the slightly more forgiving models. Now, Callaway has their LS mm -hmm. model, Ping has their uh, LST model, mm -hmm. and uh, Sim2 has their Sim2 model, essentially. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there's other maybe slower spinning drivers out there yeah. that are maybe not quite as forgiving. But this is a good forgiving test today. Yeah, yeah. We definitely noticed the trends. And then I think the spin number is a big takeaway here, where there's certainly a, uh, out of this test, a kind of a lowest spinning, a highest spinning, kind of the mid-range spin. And depending on, you know, how the player swings the club, uh, if someone is going into a second swing store for a fitting, able to swing on our launch monitor systems and 
identify if they need spin, if they don't need spin, then you can really kind of identify which of these drivers is kind of your, I guess, favorite in terms of the fitting. Of course, other factors play into it, but the spin, I think, to me, is the big takeaway in this one. Yeah, I think that's the, that, and you know, forgiveness is the other other piece that's very, very important with mm -hmm. drivers as we're reaching limits on four speed. Numbers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But three great drivers here, Thomas. Uh, lots of great swings as well. Uh, you hit, I mean, it's, that's 18 bombs up there. So. Uh, great, uh, great test here. Uh, I think this, this will provide some great information for golfers watching this. So for golfers interested in any of these three models, we of course invite you into one of our Second Swing store locations, or you can speak with a member of our online fitting and support team. And any one of our experts will get you set up with a new driver here in 2021, help you hit more bombs, play better golf.